Hey guys, this is Jason. I'm bringing you an update video on the sun. Uh, today's date is 11, uh, November 27, 2011. Um, I've got a news article here from um, spaceweather.com talking about the radiation storm and CME alert. Uh, it's saying a solar radiation storm is in progress around the Earth at the moment. The storm is classified as minor, which means it has little effect on the Earth other than to disturb the HF radio transmissions at high latitudes. Energetic protons, which may make up the bulk of the storm, were accelerated in our direction earlier today by the shock waves in a CME, racing away from the sun at about 1,000 kilometers, 2.2 million miles per hour, according to analysis at the Goddard Space Weather Lab. The CME itself will reach Earth on November 28th, around 1423 Universal Standard Time. It says the cloud could trigger geometric storms when it arrives on Monday. High latitude sky watchers should be on alert for auroras. So guys, what it's telling you right there, the sun's just launched a large CME towards Earth. So in the, it's expected to reach us by Monday. So I'm going to go to NASA's website and some of their data and I'm going to show you the uh, CME itself. Alright guys, this is some of NASA's data right here dealing with the solar flare. As you can see, here's the date and time at the top. Right there. The sun's in the middle. Okay, Earth is going to be yellow, so Earth is going to be right here. The other planets are based on the color-coordinated circles here. But the sun is throwing off a major solar flare right now. As you can see it, we're getting slammed with it. I mean, it's hitting. I mean, it's slam. It's about to slam us in the days to follow on the 28th, 20, between the 27th and 28th. So, guys, I mean, that could um, that could do some damage to our power grids majorly. So, I just be on the I just to be on the lookout and be uh, just waiting and you know just you know I just want to make this video to warn everyone because I'm sure they're not going to tell you on the news and until it happens. But I just thought I'd make this to show you guys. But I'm gonna I'm gonna add some more uh, data in here for you guys. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, just hit me up.
Hey guys, it's Jason again. Uh, I just want to throw in one extra article dealing with the solar flares that are going to hit us on Monday. I come across an article. It's uh, it's on Scott.net here, Signs of the Times. But the U.S. Senate is supposed to vote on the legis legislation that allows U.S. military to detain Americans without charge or trial. Now, you know, this is dated Friday, November 5th, 2011. Now, this they tried to vote this in like... Uh, probably about two or three years ago, and it get it didn't get passed. Well, they're throwing it up again to the Congress, the legislation to be you know be voted in this time. And with us getting hit with a solar flare on Monday, uh, I don't know, guys. If something was to happen, they would have to have a law in place when there's mass hysteria. Think about if it, it shut down our power grids or you know our power, and everybody started losing their mind and started going crazy and just hysteria. This would this law right here would be put in place that they could take anybody to a FEMA camp, which is right here, or they could take you to jail or anything for anything. I mean, vote to allow the U.S. military to detain Americans without any charge or trial, meaning just take you straight there. That's it. So uh, I thought I would include this article. They're supposed to vote on it. Let's see. Um, um says the Senate is gearing up for the vote on Monday or Tuesday. That goes to very heart of the very who we are as Americans, to the Senate. So this is going to go and be voted on Monday or Tuesday. We're supposed to get hit with that solar flare on Monday, between now and going into Monday and Tuesday. So, guys, this is just another, uh, another article I wanted to throw you guys away just to give you a heads up, so just so you can be aware. But anyways, like I said, if you guys have any questions or anything, just hit me up. Bye.